Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, and I'm back this time with my review of the Thor the Mighty Avenger Secret Strike Loki figure. Now, I um, finally found this guy. As you can see here in packaging, he looks very nice. He's got these huge parts of a sword that all fit together, which are the secret blades. I'm not exactly understanding how s blades that make a bigger sword are secret in any way. But he's also got these two smaller daggers here in the packaging. Um, I'm really glad to see that even though a lot of almost well every single figure in the line has some sort of gimmick, with the exception of the Frost Giant, where his gimmick was more accessories. Um, we usually do get one standard little feature where you can have him posed on a shelf and not with one of these huge weapons. Um, on the back of the packaging here, you can see him, and his read-up says, Though Loki is no coward, he prefers to test his wits against his enemies. Rather than the strength of his arms, coercion and mischief are his tools for victory. Other gods sneer at his avoidance of combat combat and attitude. They will learn to regret when they finally get a taste of his triple-bladed sword. So, of course, down here you have Shield Bash Odin, Invasion Frost Giant, and Battle Hammer Thor. That Odin is irritating to find right now. Of course, I'm making this one before street date. Odin has been the most irritating one to find. He's the only one in case, but I'm rambling. That being said, Loki looks great. Let's pull him out of the packaging. And here we have Secret Strike Loki out of packaging. Now, I'm real quick, his sword, which honestly looks like a Power Rangers accessory. There's no one... Um, ah, I guess there is. I did not see that button. So let me see if I can get this thing plugged back on here. Press this button... And I guess the idea is that they are supposed to fly off and leave you this one blade. Um, and if you want, you can have him holding either of these. Really kind of silly. Um, I don't need these accessories, but then again, I know they're aimed at kids, so no big deal. Now we go on to Loki. He's got a pretty decent face sculpt. Um, his costume is definitely where the detail shines. They did a really good job on that. He's holding both of his little tiny daggers. So pan it back out. Um, once again, very nice all the way around. Loki's daggers are different. Just very minor details, but different nonetheless. I don't know if there's going to be anything special about these in the movie or yet or not. So, Loki has a ball-jointed head. He does the full 360, as well as some nice up and down. Although I really wish they could have um, flesh-colored that joint right there at his neck. But oh well. So, arms go out, up to here, to a full 360, bend and spin at the elbow, spin at the wrist, same for both arms, does a full 360 at the admin, has a very nice crunch, legs are a ball joint, a little hindered by his, um, well no, looks like the coat has a lot of give so it doesn't hinder articulation, that's nice. Let's go out, spin, double jointed, and have an ankle joint, crazy little dancing pose there. So. That being said, the Thor line is running you $8 at most stores. Um, Loki is one of the harder ones to get, when, at least for me he was, because this is, once again, before street date. Um, he's not as big, he's um, a, I think he's limited at one or two a case. Like Odin, I think, is one a case, so they're really pushing Thor and the side characters are just barely getting out there. That being said, I think o um, Loki definitely warrants a pickup if you can find him. A quick comparison to Thor here. But this has been a solid line so far. I'm definitely digging Loki, and he's definitely a pick of my in my book. This is JTrain997, and I'll see you soon, YouTube.